Hey everyone, I have the Akai MPD-226 here and I'm going to do a short unboxing video to show you what it comes with. This is a 16 MPC pad controller with assignable encoders, assignable pads, assignable faders, and uh, 16 level note repeat functions just like the original MPD series and also the MPC series. It comes with MPC Essentials, Ableton Live Lite, and Sonovox Big Bang Cinematic Percussion and Universal Drums. Let's open it up and see what's going on. So here's the bag of stuff that you get inside. Ooh, I'm dropping it. The card for Ableton Live 9. This is going to have you go to the Ableton website, enter in this code here that I'm covering up with my fingers, and it'll give you a free copy of Ableton Live Lite. You have this other software card to go to akaipro.com slash software download. If you go there and you register the product, that's how you're going to get the MPC Essentials and the Sonovox Big Bang Drum plugins. So you go there, it'll give you a download link and an activation code for that software. Here's the safety instructions and the manual, and this will tell you in detail how you're going to map all these cool functions that are part of the MPD. A uh, regular USB cable, this is how it's powered. It's completely bus powered. You don't need an ex external power supply or anything. You just plug it right into your computer and you're ready to go. It's also class compliant, so you don't need to install any drivers. It's, it's literally plug and play. And here you have your eighth inch to MIDI DIN cables. Now, uh, since the MPD is so thin, uh, you can't really have the MIDI DIN cables plug right into it. So we have these eighth inch little guys that'll go in there so you can hook it up to external equipment if you have external sequencers or external analog synth gear or anything. This is how you're going to connect it to that. And let's check out the 226. And there she is, the MPD-226. Uh, you have an LCD screen on this, which you don't have on the 218. Uh, there's these assignable faders, assignable encoders. You can select the time division for the note repeat. You can do tap tempo if your DAW or whatever software you're using allows you to do that. You have transport controls here as well, which you can assign to whatever software you're using. Um, the cool thing here that I really like is these pads. It's kind of difficult to see on the camera, but these are way higher and thicker than the pads on the older MPD series. Uh, the original MPD series had much kind of like older style MPC pads. These are similar to if you were going to do a, like a fat pad mod on an old MPC or MPD. Um, they're really responsive, they're nice and they're firm, but they're also kind of like mushy if you press down on them. They're great for doing finger drumming. You have four pad banks that you can select from. So you can load this thing up with commands and you also have three control banks for the encoders and the faders. You can edit right from the uh, device here. So there's a software editor, but you can also do everything that you need right here from the MPD-226. If you can see on the back of the unit, here's the eighth inch MIDI out and MIDI in. So that's where you're going to use these guys to plug into any external gear. The USB port so that you can power and connect it to your computer. Power button. And you do also have this option to use a, uh, a power supply if you want. So if you do want to use this standalone with some outboard equipment, synths or drum machines or whatever, uh, you do have the option to do that. This doesn't have to be tethered to a computer necessarily. So that's the MPD-226. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time.